Welcome back to D-Max Man Gaming. I'm your host, D-Mac, and here we believe gaming is a lifestyle, not a hobby. Welcome back, guys. And I told you guys a couple days ago when I made the Jacksonville, Florida shooting that I will give you an update video. And then some new information have come out about the shooting that took place in Jacksonville, Florida on October 26, 2018, around 1.34 p.m. Eastern Time. And I'll leave a a link to the article that I got this new information from in the description box below for you guys to check out for yourselves. Now, before we talk about that, I got to get something off my chest because I'm kind of pissed and irritated at the same time. I know what you guys going to say. What are you upset about, D-Mac? What you did, the video you made was beautiful and it really made me think. I understand that, but there's some people in our community that just pisses me off to my core. Now, after I made that video two days ago, I decided to see what other people was talking about when they covered this story. And a lot of people are just nasty and hateful and don't know what the hell they're talking about. I'm not going to name names for, for you guys to go and look at their channels and see what they had to say because it's pointless. These people don't give a fuck about the situation or the individual. Because if they did, they want to say some of the shit they said in these videos. First of all, you don't know David Cass at all. You don't know who he is, where he comes from, what kind of life he's lived, if he had any type of issues going on in his life, did he have mental problems or not? And call this man a monster, a low-down, dirty piece of shit, and just dog this person out individually is just fucking retarded. Discrediting his character because of something that happened on October 26, 2018. Don't get me wrong. I know what you guys can say. Well, D-Mac, he did kill two people and wounded not others with gunshot wounds. Why will we condemn him? Condemn his actions. Don't condemn condemn the individual. Why? Because I knew someone that was dealing with mental problems growing up in their lives and did a lot of crazy shit. And I don't blame them as an individual. I blame their illness. And for people to go out here just talking shit about he just got mad because he lost a match. And that's why he killed individuals. It's a bunch of bullshit. They have no actual fact to back that shit up. And they're just talking shit just to hear themselves talk because they have a platform. And that shit pisses me off to my core. Because they don't know the individual. They don't know what he was dealing with. And they don't know why he did what he did. Normal people don't go around killing people because they lose a, a video game match. Come on, guys. I said that in my last video. And for those who did not see that video, I have a link to that video in the description box below for you guys to check off yourselves. So understand what I'm saying here. He did not do that because he just felt like shooting people up that day. From the information I got from this article, it has said that from his family released court records from their divorce, he was hospitalized twice at a psychiatric facility as a teenager. On top of that, he was prescribed psychiatric medication. That's right. Psychiatric medication. He was prescribed psychiatric medication. Medication that means that he was in right of the head and he was get they was giving him medicine to kind of help him deal with his mental health. And for people to go out saying that type of shit to me pisses me off to my core. Another update they have named the two individuals that was killed at this horrible um event. One was named Tyler Robinson, he was 28 years old, he leaves behind a wife and a son. I feel so sorry for them especially for the young child. And the other was Elijah Clayton that was 22 years old. His his family will miss him as well. My heart goes out to the families. I am so sorry for your losses. I just hope that someday you can move on and go forward in life, but you will never forget them individuals I understand. And my heart goes out to the family members. It's, it's heartbreaking. Yes, it is. It's so sad. And on top of that, the two guns that he had on him, was bought legally in Maryland. So he bought these guns legally. There's no way for the media to say that it's because he required guns illegally. That's not the case. And the, the, the media can't say it because it's video games. Because he had mental health problems. But piss, what pissed me off more than anything else is that our community, the gaming and the YouTube community, would condemn this young man, condemn this young man's character, Without knowing a full story, pisses me off to the core. As gamers, and as adults, and young, and young, young people, and older people in this community, we know not to make judgment until we get all our facts. We all they always complaining about the left. The right, always complaining about the left. Don't go on facts. 
and decided to complain about the right don't go always go on facts. The fact of the matter is, this individual was mentally unstable. And I said it in my last video. That's why I, I recommend you checking out that video I did on it on, two days ago because that's what I said in that video. It, it was something mentally wrong with that young man. And this new evidence came out proving that he had mental health problems. I know what you guys are going to say. Just because he was hospitalized twice and a psychiatric physical doesn't mean that he was still mentally unstable. He was prescribed psychiatric medication. It didn't say that he was off his medication. It said that he was still taking psychiatric medication. And what they need to figure out is, was he taking the medication? And on, on top of that, why would his parents let him go to this tournament? Because he lives in Baltimore. Why would they let him go by himself? I don't care if he's 24 or not. If he's mentally unstable, his parents need to be with him. And he also stated that he wasn't showering, eating, and sleeping well. All he was doing was playing video games from sunup to sundown. He was obsessed with gaming because he had nothing else to look forward to in life. And that's the sad part about the situation. Gaming is a great entertainment. Gaming is really great entertainment. It's, it helps you deal with a lot of shit that goes on in this world. It's my lifestyle. Everything I do is about gaming. But you still got to deal with the day-to-day -day realities of life. And... He didn't do that. He couldn't handle the day-to-day -day realities of life. All he lived for was being in the gaming world. But he had to realize that you have to wake up to the real world sometime. And everyone talking about his motive. Everyone in the gaming community talking about the motive of this young man. His motive was because he lost the competition. And he just went out there and shot up people. What kind of fucking motive is that? What is he going to get out of shooting up a whole um, restaurant of people? He's not gonna win. The, he's not gonna uh, go to the next uh, round. He's gonna get arrested and spend the rest of his days in jail or in a medical facility. That's not a real motive. Yeah, but he lost, so his motive was to take out the people that defeated him. How is he gonna be able to redeem himself if he killed the individuals that he couldn't beat in the first place? Come on, guys, really, for grown men in this in this community. You know, the average gamer is 35 now. You really got to start thinking with your big brain. Because that makes no fucking sense whatsoever. And that's why it pisses me off so much about our community. How we dog this young man out. And I told everyone in the video I did, do not condemn the young man. Condemn his actions. Do not condemn his character. Condemn his actions. And that's what I meant. Do not crucify him as an individual. Crucify his actions, and people couldn't do people people didn't do that in the, in the YouTube and gaming community, and it's sick it's sick at me to my core. It made me want to vomit how stupid people' reaction was about this whole situation. This situation was horrible. It was a horrible situation, and we all need to understand what happened and why it happened. The young man was mentally unstable. He probably wasn't on his medication, and he had two guns. In his possession, and he just lost it. He gave up on life, and he took his own life while taking other two people's lives and wounding out other people. What we should be thankful for is that only two people lost their lives in the situation. Even that sounds horrible coming out of my mouth, but that's the reality of our situation. That at least only two people lost their lives. And it pains me to even say that, but that's the reality of, our, of the situation. And I just don't understand how the community could say shit like that and think it's okay. Because some people are just full of hatred and stupidity and don't really think about what they say before they say it. And it, it, it pisses me off to my core. But I'd love to know what you guys think in the comment section below with this new information I gave you about the two vi victims, about him being mentally unstable, about how he bought the firearm. And what, no matter what the media says, guys, no matter what the media spills out their mouths, it's not the video games that cause this. It's not gun. It's not him being in access a legal gun that caused this. It was because he was mentally unstable. He was mentally unstable. And he was fighting some type of mental illness, and he lost the battle. That's what this is. That's what all. It, that's all it is. And don't let anyone else tell you different. But I love to know your guys' thought in the comment section below. What do you think about the situation? Did you believe that it was also a mental problem? Or do you think he was just a garbage human being? Do you feel like what he did should not be, we should not only condemn his actions, but condemn him as a human being? 
I'll let me know your guys' thoughts in the comment section below. Remember, this is a conversation. And whatever you say, we will respond to. We will respond to you respectfully. Because we are all a community of understanding and loving people. And we're not going to condemn anybody for their opinions. Let me know your guys' thoughts in the comment section below. And as always, thank you for staying to the end of the video. Make sure you hit that like button. Helps out the channel a lot. Make sure you share this so it can get around. So people can understand the whole situation if they haven't heard about this. And as always, make sure you hit that notification bell. And hit that subscribe button to be notified when I upload more videos.